Hi, my name is Neha and you are watching Network Solutions. In this video, I am going to explain network topology. By the end of this video, you will be able to understand what is topology, what are the types of topology, their advantages and their disadvantages. So let's get started with the definition of network topology. Topology means layout and we can define network topology as a method through which a network is physically connected or you can say topology basically tells you how devices are connected to each other or the arrangement of the devices. Let's say we have multiple machines and we can connect these machines in different ways to a centralized device and those different ways are called topology. So we have six types of topology. So the types of topology are star topology, ring topology, bus topology, tree topology, mesh topology and last one is hybrid topology. I'm going to discuss each and every uh, topology in details. So our first topology is star topology. As you can see in the diagram here, multiple devices are connected through a centralized device which, which could be switch or hub. And the medium through which these devices are connected over here is a twisted pair cable. So we use twisted pair cables to connect the devices in star topology. We will use RJ45 connector at both the ends of the cable and as you can see here this is how RJ45 cable looks like. So the advantage of star topology is it's easy to design and implement and its disadvantage is the single point of failure which affects the whole network that is hub. If this will go down then the entire network will go down. Our next type is ring topology. In this topology, every machine works as a sender and receiver. Let's say this machine A, it is working as sender and receiver as well. Same way each and every machine will work as sender and receiver. And the data traffic will always travel in a clockwise direction in ring topology. And now you will be curious to know that how communication will happen. So the answer is with the help of a token. So in this diagram, machine B has a token that means it's his turn to send the data. Token will be circulated throughout the network in clockwise direction. Its disadvantage is if any of the device will go down, let's say if machine F will go down, then the whole communication process will stop. Our next type is bus topology. This is a topology which makes use of a backbone. All the devices are connected to a centralized cable which is called backbone. As you can see this cable is a coaxial cable which is used in bus topology. The main disadvantage is if the backbone will go down then the entire network will go down. And our next type is tree topology. Tree topology is a combination of star topology. In this topology, new nodes can easily be added. Tree topologies are frequently used in cooperate networks. Next, we'll discuss about mesh topology. In this topology, each node is directly connected to every other node in the network. Cable used in this mesh topology is fiber optic cable. If there is any link failure in the network, the device will still have another way to reach its destination and that's why it is called reliable. Mesh topology is used in wide area network that is WAN which we have already discussed. And the last type is hybrid topology. Hybrid topology is a mixture of various topologies or you can say combination of two or more topologies. I hope you like this video. If you do, then please like and share this video. And if you are visiting this channel for the first time, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching.